In this video, we're going to talk about graphing systems of inequalities. The learning targets for this video, students will be able to represent constraints by equations or inequalities, and students will be able to use a graph to determine the solutions of a system of inequalities. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about graphing inequalities by themselves. So not a system. A system is two inequalities together, and we're finding the solutions that satisfy both inequalities. Um, we're going to just talk about one inequality, how to graph that by itself. The steps to doing that, the first thing that we want to do is we want to isolate y. We want to get y by itself. y is, our, is always our output, um, and we want our output by itself. Our second step is to graph our guideline. So graph the guideline. And once we get y by itself, we're going to be able to see that we have something that looks like a line, except it has an inequality sign. Uh, we're going to find what the guideline is. Um, that's going to be the basis of where we're going to shade on the graph, what points we're going to shade. So we're going to graph the guideline. Step three is to shade above or below that guideline. So we're going to shade above or below that guideline, depending on what inequality sign we have. So shade above or below. Depending on which inequality sign we have, it's going to tell us the kind of guideline we're going to graph, and it's going to tell us where to shade on the graph. If we have greater than or less than without an equal to sign underneath, so just greater than or less than by themselves, the line, the guideline itself is not included. So we're going to use a dashed line to show that the line is not included. The guideline itself is not included. So let me just say the guideline is not included. Okay. And a dashed line would look like this. If we have an equal to sign in our inequality, so greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we know that the guideline itself is included. And we're going to indicate that by making it a solid line. So we're going to shade all the points on that line and we're going to make it a solid line. So a solid line means the guideline is included. Okay, and a solid line, like all the lines we've graphed before, looks like that. If the inequality sign is greater than or greater than or equal to, it's going to tell us that we need to shade above that guideline. So above the guideline. If we have less than or less than or equal to, we're going to shade below the guideline. So let's do this example. Negative 3y is less than negative 9. The first thing I want to do is isolate y. I want to get y by itself. So I'm going to divide by negative 3 on the left-hand side to get y by itself. If I do that on the left, I do that on the right. I'll end up with, well, before I do anything, before I tell what the left-hand side is and the right-hand side is, when I divide by a negative number and I'm working with inequalities, the inequality sign is going to flip. So before I do anything else, I'm going to flip that inequality sign so I don't forget. It was less than, so it's going to become greater than. On the left-hand side now, to find the left, I have negative 3y divided by negative 3 is y. And on the right, I have negative 9 divided by negative 3, which is positive 3. This is my uh, isolated y inequality. So step one is complete. I've isolated y. For step two, I want to graph the guideline. So I want to find what is the guideline? What is the guideline? Well, the guideline is just going to be the, I'm just going to take the inequality that I have this inequality. I'm going to take this inequality that I have and I'm just going to rewrite it with an equal sign instead of an inequality sign. So it's going to be y is equal to 3 instead of y is greater than 3. This is my guideline and I'm going to graph that. And if you forget what that looks like, um, y is equal to 3, you can always make a table, set up a table, and I know, and then just uh, plug in x values and see what you get for y. Well, if I have x is 0, I don't have an x there um, in this equation. I just know that y is 3. If I have x is 1, y is 3. If I have x is 2, y is 3. y is always 3. I can plot these points. 
that I put in this table, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3. And what I'm going to see is that when I connect these lines, when I connect these points, it's going to be a horizontal line. When you have y is equal to a number, you're always going to have a horizontal line. When you have x is equal to a number, you're going to have a vertical line. Uh, now I want to decide what type of line I have. Um, so when I'm graphing the guideline, I want to know, is it included or is it not included? Since I have just a greater than sign here and not greater than or equal to, I know y is equal to 3 is not included. So the points on y is equal to 3 is not included. Everything is just a little bit greater, where y is just a little bit greater is included. Uh, so I'm going to use this guideline, but I'm going to make it a dashed line. I'm going to use the guideline to shade, but it's going to be a dashed line because it's not included. And then the last thing is to shade. Uh, so step, that was step two. And my last step is to shade above or below. Well, I have greater than is my inequality sign. So I'm shading where y is greater than three. I'm looking for all the points where y is greater than three. I know when I have greater than, I'm shading above. So I'm going to be shading above this horizontal line. I can also test points on either side of the line to see where I'm going to shade. If I picked this point here, negative 2 comma 7, if I picked that point, I would see that y was greater than 3 there, so I knew I would be shading above that line. If I checked this point, uh, if I checked 0 comma 0, um, 0 comma 0, I know that the y is less than 3, it's not greater than 3, so I would not be shading in that direction. So all of the points that are not shaded should not work in the inequality, and all points that are shaded should work. So if I checked any of those shaded uh, points, they should work. All of the points on the line do not work uh, because the y value is not greater than 3. It's equal to 3. All right, now let's talk about graphing systems of inequalities. So graphing systems of inequalities. The first step, just like graphing one inequality by itself, is to isolate y. I'm just going to do that for both inequalities. So a system means two, two inequalities together, two or more. I isolate y for both inequalities. I get y by itself. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to graph the guidelines. I'm going to graph the guidelines for both on the same graph. So graph both guidelines on the same graph. And then the third step is to same Shade above or below for both. Shade above or below for both. For both inequalities. Um, the double shaded region contains all the solutions to the system. The double shaded region contains all the solutions. the system and it is called the feasible region it's called the feasible region that double shaded region is called the feasible region and that's the solution to the system all right let's do an example of a system of inequalities so here I have a system I have two inequalities and I want to find all the points that satisfy both of those inequalities at the same time. So I'm going to rewrite these inequalities um, horizontally. So I'll write 2y plus 2x is less than negative 4, and y is less than or equal to 3x plus 6. First thing I'm going to do, first step, is to isolate y for both. Well, in this one, y is already isolated, so I don't need to worry about that. I just need to isolate the y for this one. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2x on the left-hand side to get the 2y by itself. If I do that on the left, I do that on the right. I will end up with then 2y is less than uh, negative 2x minus 4. From here, I want to get that y by itself, so I'm going to divide by 2. If I do that on the left, I do that on the right. I will end up with then y is less than uh, negative x minus 2. Okay, now I have two inequalities with y isolated. From here, I want to graph both guidelines on the same graph. Well, I want to find what is the guideline. 
the guideline for the inequality on the left is y is equal to negative x minus 2. I just took the inequality and I changed it into an equation uh, for the guideline for what I have on the inequality on the right, um, I am just writing y is equal to 3x plus 6. That's the guideline. Before I can graph these guidelines, so before I can graph these guidelines, here's one guideline, here's the other, um, I need to decide if they're dashed or solid. The first guideline, I'm looking at the inequality sign when I isolated y. After I isolated y, um, it's less than, which means it is not included. The guideline itself is not included. Uh, so it's a dashed line. So I know it's dashed. For the other guideline, I have less than or equal to after I've isolated that y. Um, so I know it's a solid line because the guideline is included. So I'm going to graph these uh, two things. Um, for the red guideline, um, I know 0, negative 2 is my y-intercept and my slope is negative 1. So I'm going uh, to the right one, down one, to the right one, down, or down one to the right one, down one to the right one. I know this is a dashed line, so I'm going to connect the points with a dashed line. Okay, connect the points with a dashed line. And then for the other guideline, I know the starting point is 0, 0,6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right here. And I know that I'm going uh, up three to the right one, up three to the right one, or down three to the left one, down three to the left one. And I can see from point to point as I read left to right, um, I have that slope up three to the right one, up three to the right one. Uh, this is a solid line, so I'm going to connect with a solid line here. Let me just fix that a little bit. Oops. And I'm going to make sure, just like my other line, it's going on and on forever. Now I'm going to decide if I'm shading above or below. Uh, for the left inequality, or y is less than uh, negative x minus 2, I am going to be shading below, since it's less than, below that line. So everything that's below that line, which is everything in this region. Everything below, I'm shading. Uh, for the other line, I am shading, uh, since I have a less than or equal to, the y is less than or equal to 3x plus 6, um, it is below that I'm shading. Again, below. And so I'm shading everything that's below. And if you have trouble deciding what is below, you can always check a point on either side. If the point works, then... Um, that's where you're shading. If the point does not work, you're shading to the other direction. The easiest point for you to check is 0, 0. So I could have checked 0, 0 if I, was, I wasn't sure where to shade, and I would have plugged it in. So I would have done 0 is less than 3 times 0 plus 6 and seen if this is a true statement. 0 is less than 6. That is true. So that's where that's the direction I'm going to be shading, where that point's included on that side of the, that guideline. Um, now I know that this double shaded region here, this purple region, that's red and blue, is my solution. It's my solution set, which is the feasible region. It's all the points that satisfy both of those inequalities. Everything that's on uh, the red line is not included. Everything on the blue line is included.